Okay, so before we dive into the branding of your shop, I just want to highlight a few things that we're going to be working on. So um, within the dashboard, all you need to do is head on over to um, where it says sales channels here and under your Etsy shop name, you're going to see this little pencil icon. What you want to do is click on that icon and it's going to transport you to the area where you can start updating everything as it relates to your shop. Because if you were to have a look at your shop as it is currently, so if we go down here where it says view shop, you're going to see that it's going to look a little bit bland. We've got um, no banner up here. We've, on, uh, we've only got our title here. We've got no logo. We've got no profile image. So if somebody was to jump onto our Etsy shop and see this, they're going to think it's um, probably not so much of a trustworthy shop, right? So let's go ahead and start changing that by uploading a banner. We're going to upload a profile image and then perhaps I'm just going to share with you a couple of extra details on where you can add in things like your product description, a tagline, um, an about us section and things like that. So in order to do this, um, you can go about it, I guess, a few different ways. But um, the most common ways I see people do this is either they start from scratch or they can use um, templates or branding boards in order to get a jump start on um, their Etsy shop branding. OK, so in this example, I'm going to be starting off by using one of the Etsy shop branding kits um, that I have available in the shop. So you can go check that out. I'll leave a link to that within the resources section. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on over to Canva now, open up a couple of those resources so we can get a head start on this branding. OK, so if we have a look here in the shop, um, I have a few branding kits that are available for you to purchase and use for your Etsy shop. The one that I think is probably best for as a starting point is the Sydney collection. So I'm just going to jump into that and just share that with you so you get an idea. I feel like um, it's a good starting point for um, a kid's nursery uh, branding, um, but I'm going to share with you how I'm going to update a lot of this in here so that it best represents the shop that I want to be using. Okay. Okay. So I've got, let's close that. We've got the, okay. So in the branding kit, we've got the brand board. So this essentially is what you will use as reference to update all of the other sections um, within your Etsy shop. So here is where you're going to include your logo. Here are some of the colors that are used within this brand kit and then the fonts too. But I feel like I might change this up a little bit. So what you could do is you could go to Pinterest, you could go on Etsy and have a look at for inspiration for themes and colors and fonts that would work really well with your, um, your branding for your shop. Another way that you could do this is actually go on to um, Canva and check out, you know, the logos or the the um, branding boards that they already have created and you can use this as a starting point. So I'm going to go on over to um, my Canva dashboard and here where it says um, uh, words to describe your design, I'm just going to pop in kids shop branding and let's see what comes up. And here it's going to give you a couple of ideas of what you could use as a starting point. So I'm just going to scroll through here and see what um, you know, pops up out at me, what I feel like is going to resonate well with my audience. So, so as you know, my art prints are for um, nursery design. So let's go ahead and keep looking. Something like this might be cute. Obviously, this is going to be all personal um, preference. So really just go with your gut instinct and what you feel like is right for you. I don't mind this. I think this is kind of cute. It's got a little kind of boho kind of vibe going to it. So let's go ahead and open up that one. So I'm going to go to customize this design. So we'll leave that one open. I'm just going to go back and see if there's anything else. This one's kind of cute too. Annie and Oliver, I like the font on that. So maybe we'll open up that one. Let's go back again. See what else is here. It always gives you some great suggestions here. I like this. This is kind of funky, but perhaps not in line with the style that we want to go for in my shop anyway. This one's kind of cute. Let's go ahead and open that one. See what else I've got down here. All right, I'm going to go and customize this too. So now we've got a couple of different ideas that we can work with for colors and fonts um, that might suit our design. 
Okay, so I like the colors within this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this actually. Um, what I might do is just add it another page. And what I want to do is go to elements. I just want to add in any shape. It doesn't really matter. And then what I want to do is actually pull the colors from here and then have them all e um, easily accessible down here. So let's duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that. So we've got about four different colors, I think. And then what we can do is we can actually pull the colors from this design. So if we go ahead and click the color button, if we scroll down, down. Oh, actually at the top here, it's going to say the document colors. So these are all the colors that have been used here within this design. So the very first color, we'll go for the yellow, the brown, the off-white, and then perhaps the darker like off-black color. Perfect. So now we've got these colors that we can work with in our brand board. So let's go ahead and copy these now. Let's go to our brand board here. And I'm going to add in another page and I'm going to, oops, paste that in. So now we've got these colors here within our brand board. And then all you would need to do is just update these colors here. So um, obviously there's five colors, so we need to delete one of those. Let's go ahead and delete that one there. Go ahead and center that. So I'm going to change that to the yellow. This to the brown this to the off-white, I think it's that color. Let's have a look. Yep, that matches. And then this one as the off-black color, that one. And then what you would do, so you have easy access to the hex codes, you would then go ahead and pull the hex codes from each of these colors and then make sure that these are written here. So this hex color, if you wanted to grab that, all you need to do is select the color and then the toggle button will give you the hex color. So you would copy that and then paste it in here. So that way you have easy access to that. And then you would do that for all the colors. Okay. All right, so now we've got some colors to work with. Let's go back and have a look at some of our other designs to maybe check out what kind of fonts we'd like to use. So we've got these fonts here. We've also got these fonts here. I quite like these. I feel like they're simple, yet they stand out. I also like the, um, the little bear there too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of this into our brand board. Let's have a play around with that too. You just want to be mindful that some of these elements and fonts might be um, Canva Pro um, elements and fonts. So if you have a Canva Pro account, you can most definitely use these. If not, you might just have to find an alternative based on what kind of account you have in Canva. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with this one here. I'm going to change the bear to the brown. And let's maybe change this to the yellow. And the background color I think is already that off-white, or is it not? Let's have a look. Copy that, paste it here. No, not quite. So we need that color. Maybe we'll change this to the black so it stands out a little bit more. And then this to the yellow. Which one was it? Copy that paste that or we do we could actually maybe change the background of that so let's change that back to the black and go to effects background I think that works really well okay so I've positioned this towards the bottom like so might reduce that size a bit uh, the effects I might change the roundness of that so it's completely round cute very good so it's just a matter of playing around with it um, and seeing what works for you I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to use that as my um, logo and I'm going to use these as my fonts throughout my branding so I'm going to go ahead and um, 
edit that here on my mood board. So let me save this as a PNG. Let's go to download, PNG. I want current page two. So go download on that. And then I'm going to upload this into um, my brand board. So I've got access to it when I need it. Perfect. So that's all ready to go. So we've got our logo. We've got our brand colors here and we've also got our fonts. So we can use this now to incorporate into our um, our banner, our Etsy shop banner, and also um, even our Etsy shop listings whenever we are creating graphics or adding text to any of our Etsy listing images, now we have something to use. Um, so that way our branding is consistent uh, throughout, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the logo. So here are a couple of different options that you could use, but um, because we've changed this up a bit, I'm just going to go add new, go up, and then I'm going to transport that um, logo into my account here. All right, let's move on to the banner. Let's see what we can do here in the banner. So what you might want to do is the current artwork that you have created, you can actually import this into your um, Etsy shop banner. If not, you could, you know, maybe just create something quite simplistic. Here in the banner, you could advertise any promotions that you have going on. So this is more like a live kind of banner right? Um, it's a place where you can change and edit and add any details about your shop that you really want to highlight. Okay, so that's what how I would recommend doing it. Try not to just to stick to one banner. Make sure you're updating it, adding in new images of some of the um, artwork that you have created here. Okay, so I am going to use this as a base and I'm going to take some of that information um, or that branding that we just created in our brand board. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to copy it. We're going to take it over to our banner. I'm going to um, maybe have a look and see what we want to start with. This one might be useful because that way we could potentially add in um, some mock-ups of our artwork here or maybe even this one here. Let's go ahead and maybe use this one. I'm going to duplicate that so I can keep the original. I'm going to delete out the colors and we're going to delete that. We're going to paste in this right here. Very cute. You might even want to edit this a bit so that we've got this centered. So I'm going to center that. I'm also going to center that. I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to make this smaller. And we're going to add that to the top like so. Okay, very good. Let's change the background. So let's bring in some of those colors. I'm just going to add in a new page so we can bring in those colors and use them for reference. So let's scroll up. I'm going to copy these. Paste it in here. We can delete this later if we need to. So we've got our colors and then I'm going to bring in the fonts. Well, the fonts we've already got here within our um, logo. So I'm going to change the color here to match this color. You could add in any additional elements that you would like. But what you want to do is now you want to bring in some of the mock-up images of our uh, artwork that we created. So what you might want to do is you might want to go back to your original Kittle design. So let's go ahead and open that up now. Okay, so here is um, one of the designs that I created. So for ease of use and to make the file as you know small as possible but still remaining the clarity of the design, what you want to do is you want to export the design. So let's go download and let's go ahead and change the dimensions here. So okay, so let's say we want to stick with the 2 by 3 ratio. Um, if we go back, let's go two by three. Um, maybe if we do like an eight by 12 inches. So if we change it to that, it might, you know, give us something a little bit better to work with. So I'm going to change it to eight by 12 inches. So let's go inches and let's go eight by 12. Perfect. That's great. Okay. So that's going to make it a little bit smaller. You can probably even take this down to like 150 DPI. 
um, so it creates a smaller file size. So once you're happy with that, just go ahead and save that as a PNG file. And then you want to upload that into your Canva account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. There we go. So now here's our file. And then what you could do is you could go ahead and just pop them straight into these little slots. So you would do that for multiple different designs. For the sake of this um, video, I'm just going to upload all of them together. And then um, you could show off some of the designs you have in your shop. So say we wanted to do something a little bit different. Say we wanted to have perhaps like one of our mock-up images that we create for our product listing. Um, we could perhaps pop that in here. So what you would do is you would go on over to my designs, go ahead and download those files that you created for those Etsy listing images, and then you can pop them here within your banner. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm here in my designs. I'm going to scroll down now. They have done a couple of updates to their interface here. So this may look a little bit different to when I showed you it last. So let's say we wanted the, the lion. Um, and let's have a look to see what mock-up might suit the banner. Perhaps that one. So let's go ahead and download um, this file. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that one. And then I'm going to go all actions and I want to go download a zip. So you could do this for multiple files, but I'm just going to do it for this one. So let's go ahead and select mockup four. We don't need the main file. Go download a zip and then you have access to all of the mockups that you want. Okay, so that's downloaded to my computer. So I'm going to go back to my banner. I'm going to open up that zip file. There should only be one in there. That's correct. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that into my computer. Sorry, my Canva account. And then I can go ahead and drag this in. So depending on how big the image is, you might want to drag and resize that. And then what you could do actually is something a little bit more interesting. You could pop that in resize it like so so you don't have the whole banner covered with the artwork you could just do like a half half and that way you could go ahead and grab this information so command c command v that looks kind of cool and then perhaps you could do like um like a transition between the both here let's go ahead and see if we can do that so elements and what would you call that let's try blend maybe there we go. Let's see if we can use this. Turn that around. So we're going from a bold color to a like a fade. So we need to change that color. Can we change that? Doesn't look like we can change the color on that. Let's see if we can change the color on this one. Maybe try a blur, see if that works. Ah, here we go. This transparent gradient works. So let's go ahead and move that here like so and let's change the color to match the background perfect so if we move that across there we go so now it looks like it's kind of merged as one looks kind of cool so you could do something like that so you could add in any of your mock-up images i quite like that so i think i'm going to stick with that one for now i'm just going to move this so it's more centered here Perfect. So now we've got our banner, we've got our profile image or our logo ready to go. Now um, you can go ahead and take all this and update it into your Etsy shop. Okay, so before we add these to our Etsy shop, we also need to save them as PNG files. So to do that, you just go to the share button, go to download, select the page that you would like. I'm going to go for page 11, go done and download. The logo we've already got, we've already downloaded that one, so that one's ready to go. So let's go back to our Etsy shop and update our branding. Okay, so here all we need to do is go and add the banner. So we want to go to big banner on that and go to done. And then we want to click add an image and then we're going to update um, our image with our, our banner with our new image. So go open. Let that load. There we go. So now we've got our banner all ready to go. Happy with that. So go to save. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and upload our logo. Choose a file. Open. If you're happy with the way that that looks, go save. Looks good. Perfect. So now we've got our banner and our logo all ready to go. 
So the other things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a shop title. So you want to describe your shop here. So nursery prints and artwork. Make sure that you are taking some thought into what you are writing here. You want to always put your best foot forward. But for now, I'm just going to write that. If you need help with any of the copy within your Etsy shop, or your Etsy listings, product listings, um, descriptions, things like that. I do have a real handy uh, worksheet that uses ChatGPT in order to do a lot of this. Um, it saves so much time when you have a tool like uh, ChatGPT to help you with um, all the copy within your shop. Okay, so I would highly recommend checking that out. You can find that um, in the shop or alternatively, if you're in the membership, you can also find that um, under the resources section. Okay, all right. So um, we've got our tagline. You can set your location if you like here. That's optional. Um, I would recommend popping in a photo of you so that your lovely customers can see your beautiful face. You want to add in a shop announcement here. This is where you could add things like the current sales that you have going on. Okay, you can also add a featured area to highlight some of your most popular listings or highlight listings that you would like people to view first as they um, go to your shop. So you can do that by just clicking the plus button and then selecting any of the um, listings that you would like to show. So here is just going to by default share my latest listings, but you can change the layout and edit the queue as well. Okay, go ahead and hit save on that. Here you can add some updates about your shop and then here is where you want to add in some information about the story behind your shop, your about section, so um, things about you and the shop and why you created the shop and who your shop is for. You want to highlight your ideal customer here. You want to perhaps maybe mention some of the pain points and how your shop can solve those pain points. Okay, you can add in any web links here. So let's say you have a Pinterest account that you would like to link to. You can do that here. Here is where you want to add in any information about um, shop members. So here is where you would add information about yourself personally. And then you can add in shop policies, frequently asked questions and so on and so forth. So I highly recommend going through this with a fine tooth comb. You want to make sure that this is looking as best possible. But starting with the banner and the, um, the logo is a great place to start and it really will transform your shop. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at it now and see what it looks like in comparison to what it did before fantastic so now we have our beautiful banner here highlighting our shop we've got our wonderful mock-up here um, our logo and then our tagline okay we've also got our featured listings here okay so I hope that this was helpful if you have any other questions regarding your Etsy shop branding or you would like more tips or tricks in order to get this looking as fabulous as possible then please feel free to reach out I'm here if you need <music>